so next we have to implement the database but before implementation there are some technological decisions that have have to be taken okay for example uh, selection of database management system uh, designing of fields because now attributes they, they would be converted into fields of of relations names of relations names of fields data types of fields ye decisions humne lene hain so ye decision lene ke liye hum ek stage pe se guzarte hain and this stage is known as the physical database design so the purpose of this design is to convert the logical descriptions of data because so far we have the logical descriptions of data whatever is in the relational model that basically is the logical description of data so now we intend to convert those descriptions into technical specifications before implementation because now we have to implement the database using the database management system so before we actually write those scripts or we use the graphical user interfaces to create the tables and their fields so we have to take some technological decisions and the goal is to create a design for storing data that will provide adequate performance and ensure database integrity security and recoverability so these are some quality attributes these are some uh, you can say some non functional things that we also want to include in the database that we are going to develop okay hum chahte hain ke wo database that we are implementing that database should be having a good performance okay there is a definition of performance what is that what is performance in 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 any software yes throughput is performance exactly and along with throughput response time that is also performance okay so hamara aim ye hoga ki ye jo database hum bana rahe hain it should be having good performance which means ke response time should be lesser okay and throughput should be higher so jab mazid hum ideal situation mein jate hain to we quantify these things okay we can quantify the response time in seconds we can quantify the throughput in transactions per second okay so uh, ye jitni bhi cheeze hai na the, the, uh, these things can be measured using some quantified units so other attributes that we want to achieve are integrity that we have discussed okay integrity is there should be no inconsistency that is integrity that we also want to achieve and similarly uh we want to have a secure data okay so security measures there are also to be taken okay whenever required and recoverability now there would be need of recoverability because we, we will be having a central storage of data which can be a single point of failure so recoverable recoverability has to be there okay so this is the goal of having this physical database design so these are the inputs to this process normalized relations that we already have after the normalization okay data volume estimates just an estimate ke ek relation ke andar hamare paas kitne records aane ki tawakko hai those are volume estimates frequency of data usage kuch entities hongi jinka data bahut frequently use ho raha hoga while there would be some less frequently accessed relations attribute definitions okay data types names etc response time expectations kaun sa data hai ki jahan pe hame bahut quick response ki requirement hai kaun sa data hai jahan pe hum bardasht kar sakte hain lag ko security requirements backup and recovery requirements integrity expectations and the technology that is to be used so all these basically they act as input to this physical database design and after having these inputs and after applying this process we take these decisions we take the decisions on attribute data types we decide about file organizations we decide about indexing and we decide about query optimization 
Attribute data types, a very simple concept. Data type of each and every field which would be there in the implemented relations. File organizations, the DBMS writes the relations on physical storage as files. Okay? Each and every relation would be stored as a file in the physical storage by database management system. So primarily these file organization, they are the responsibility of database management system. It is the database management system that has to decide that how the data would actually be written or stored on the physical storage. But some modern database management systems, they give you this provision, they extend this provision of deciding on the file organizations to the database developers. You can select file organizations. If you think you are uh, an efficient database designer and you can choose an optimized file organization, then yes, this provision is provided to you by some of the modern database management systems. Then indexing. This is something which is used in searches. Okay, You might have seen an index while you search something in your Windows operating system. While you write something, whenever you enter a text string in that search text bar, an option is given to you that you want to index this location or not. Indexing means if you want to speed up your search operations, then indexing can be applied. And this is something that we, we shall learn inshallah. And then lastly, there is a decision about query optimization. Query optimization is also something which is related to the database management system design, not the database design. Basically, we are learning the database design, but we should know this query optimization because one query can be optimized as compared to another query doing the same thing. We can have two different queries do, doing the same thing, retrieving the same data, producing the same results, but consuming different resources. We can have a less and a better efficient queries for the same purpose. And in order to understand this thing, that what is an optimized query and what are the factors which influence the response time and the optimization of, of a query. So in order to understand that, we shall learn this query optimization. So these are the decisions which are to be taken. If for example, we are developing a simple database application for, for example, just for the sake of an assignment and a grade, but for example, a database is being developed by us for a real client and for example, for, for a bigger organization uh, that has some definitely critical data, which is to be stored using that database system, then yes, we shall pass through all these stages. Okay? Are you following me? Thank you so much. So this is the volume estimates. This portion has been taken from an entity, enhanced entity relationship diagram. Abhi tak humne volume estimates ko nahi dekha. Volume estimate ka purpose ye hai ke the designer should know which relations shall be heavy than others. That is the reason of checking these volume estimates. But these are just estimates, right? Ye plus minus ho sakte hai. Sirf estimate mein hum dekh rahe hai. Yaan pe hume pata chalta hai ki yaar in is poore portion ke andar na supplies relation shall be having the maximum rows. So this uh, estimate can be for, uh, forever, can be an yearly estimate, can be a monthly estimate whatever is our consideration, according to that, these estimates, they shall be taken, okay? Then there are some access frequency estimates, which relations would be accessed more frequent as compared to others. These are the access frequencies. For example, if you see here, maybe this part wala relation na 200 times access ho raha hoga. Ye pata kaise chalega? ये पता चलेगा रिपोर्ट से जो हमारे डेटाबेस की आउटपुट है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम कलम को एनालाइज करें 
तो हम ये देख सकते हैं जी के नास्ट में इतने स्टूडेंट्स हैं एंड ऑन एवरेज सो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स एक्सेस देयर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट बेसिकली इज कंपोज ऑफ डेटा टेकन फ्रॉम दिस दिस एंड दिस रिलेशन सो वी कैन हैव अ फ्रीक्वेंसी एस्टिमेट दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेली इफ देर आर हंड्रेड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट विच आर जेनरेटेड सो दी रिलेशन विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन दैट ट्रांसक्रिप्ट they would be accessed for example 1000 times and for example there are other reports so we'll be summing up all of the frequencies i i hope the concept is clear similarly we can see that out of 200 accesses of this part 40% accesses would be on the manufactured part and 70% on the purchased parts okay and this is not equal to 100 why because there is an overlap rule yes shabash because there is there is an overlap rule so kuch aisi ho sakti hain jinke andar ye dono istemal ho rahi ho similarly hum ye directions se dekh sakte hain there can be queries in which supplies relation is accessed from this direction query starts from retrieving parts data then moves on to purchased parts and then accesses supplies data and the access frequency of accessing this supply relations from this side is 80 times this can be 80 times an hour this can be 80 times a day or 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 any uh, month or year kuch bhi ho sakta hai okay so these are access frequencies and volume estimates just the purpose of having these estimates is to decide ki kaun se portions ke upar hame focus karna hai now next decision that we have to take is design of a field field basically is the smallest unit of data in database a column in in a table relation rather an attribute converted into actual database implemented using a database management system has these fields attributes converted that they are converted into fields so that is the smallest unit of data and while designing the fields for any relation we have to take some decisions for example we have to take decision about the data type we have different data types available to us in different database management systems for example uh, uh, good dbmss that we know are oracle sql server microsoft sql server uh, moodle is an erp that is not a database management system mysql is a, is a database management system that is basically in moodle then we have uh, ibm's db2 firebase maria db okay mongo db all these they basically basically they are database management systems so different database management system provide us with different data types so we have to choose the appropriate data types for the fields which are to be implemented because we can have more than one options for example we have to store date we have the option of defining that as date and we have the option of defining that as string okay we can store date in string or we can store date in date